Eternal Blazon is a new energy scout rifle that's been put into the game as part of Season of the Chosen. This one is a lightweight scout rifle, meaning you're going to be able to move faster with this one, and it's got some really interesting comparisons to Nightwatch, one of the most popular scout rifles in Destiny 2 history. Today I'm going to have a look at the weapon and the stats, the god rolls to chase, and how to get Eternal Blazon in Destiny 2. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Eternal Blazon is an energy scout rifle and it deals arc damage. It's a lightweight frame, meaning it's got superb handling and you can move faster with this weapon equipped. Looking at the stats, we've got 60 for impact, 40 for range, 41 for stability, 66 for handling, 61 for reload speed, it's a 200 rounds per minute scout rifle with 16 in the magazine. So looking at that comparison for Nightwatch as I mentioned in the intro, so Nightwatch is another lightweight frame scout, but Nightwatch was in the kinetic slot. So when we compare Eternal Blazon to Nightwatch we do have the same impact, slightly less range at minus 3, a little bit more stability with plus 1, slightly less handling at minus 2, and slightly less reload speed with minus one. It's the same RPM and magazine size. So, so basically, these two weapons have almost exactly the same stats. And this essentially is an energy version of Nightwatch. So if you like that scout rifle, then this one could be for you. So let's have a look at the perks and god rolls for Eternal Blazon. And for PvE, full auto and kill clip would be good. And full auto is fairly self-explanatory. And then you've got kill clip, and that gives you a damage boost by reloading after a kill. Rapid Hit and Thresh is also another good PvE role where Rapid Hit increases stability and reload speed and Thresh gives you a small amount of super energy. If you're looking to go into PvP with this weapon, well then Quick Draw and Range Finder will be a decent role and range is always good in PvP and Quick Draw is going to get that scout rifle into your hands nice and quickly. So Killing Wind and Disruption Break might also be a good role to look out for in PvP. Next up, let's have a look at how to get Eternal Blazon. And to get this one, it is a random drop from activities in Season of the Chosen. You can also get this one through Umbral Engram Focusing. And I had some luck with this dropping for me during Season of the Chosen. So focus those Umbral Engrams, and hopefully you'll be able to get a good roll on that one too. So I've had some luck with this dropping for me at the end of Battlegrounds. I've also had it drop for me at the end of Strikes and PvP. So it seems to be quite a widely available scout rifle and it is in the loot pool in Season of the Chosen. But what I would do, if you really want to focus farm this, then charge up those charges on the Hammer of Proving via the Battlegrounds, and then go into the Helm and find those focused Umbral Engrams. Well, next up, I want to have a look at the lore, and much like the other weapons this season, there's some really interesting stuff going on here. So we've got Eternal Blazon lore. For this Eternal Blazon, must not be to ears of flesh and blood. It was a warm night in the last city. A gentle breeze rolled through the streets, ruffling treetops and bearing choirs of cicadas. On a night like this, even the most chronic of insomniacs could achieve a sound, dreamless sleep. All they need to do is lay their head down and breathe deep. Except for Zavala. He preferred to spend a night like this walking through the gardens. Nothing better than a midnight stroll right Taj, he remarked quietly to the ghost floating over his shoulder. Taj bobbed silently in the breeze. In his opinion, a full eight hours of sleep would have been vastly better, especially for the beleaguered commander. But while some ghosts felt giving advice was part of their calling, he did not. So he said nothing. His disapproval was felt regardless. I know. I should rest. Zavala closed his eyes and inhaled. The night air was fragrant with fresh blooms. I'd argue this counts. Taj remembered when this acre was first dug out for planting, back when the city was little more than a sprawl of encampments. They just returned from a gruelling patrol, but as soon as Zavala saw the others digging, he dropped his weapons and picked up a shovel. Saladin gave him a long lecture about the importance of rest and recovery, but he just stubbornly kept on digging. I'd like to sow some life for once, he said. Taj could still picture the look on the Iron Lord's face in that moment, flickering between pride and exasperation. It was in that moment, too, he picked up a shovel. We've come so far, 
Zavala murmured in the present. Sacrificed so much. Again, Tars said nothing. They had indeed. As they passed under a tree, the cicadas tucked into its branches and they went still. For a few seconds, the only noise was the crunch of boots on the gravel path, and once Zavala and Taj were a few yards away, the cicadas resumed their melodic thrumming. It amazes me sometimes that I survived this long. Zavala looked up, his pupils reflecting the bone-white orb of the traveller above. All thanks to you. His words came out so soft, it was hard to tell if they were an accusation or gratitude. Taj tilted upwards towards the traveller too. What could he say? It was his duty to resurrect his guardian. More than that, it was his purpose. Not one that he'd chosen, but then again, neither had Zavala. The silence fell, deeper than before. Ghost and the guardian stared up into the opaque moon, their thoughts synchronised around the same question. Are you watching over us, or are we on our own? Well, really, really good stuff there from the law, and a really interesting insight into Zavala and what he gets up to in his spare time. Obviously a really selfless man, and it looks like we are building towards something of a showdown with Zavala. And perhaps those whispers of Savathun are really going to take effect. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of Eternal Blazon, and let me know what roles you got, and let me know also what you think of that law. Well, that is it for this guide on how to get Eternal Blazon in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, I'll see you in the next video. We've got other fires burning.